There we go. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, there. Did you see that? That's where we pause it to record. Where? That. Right no. here. Okay. Pause it. All right. Hey. <laughs> hey, this is a uh, mobile call today. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. We are in the car heading back from some properties that we just purchased. So Yes, we just purchased an eight-unit apartment building uh, this week, and we purchased a single-family home this week, Two single family and homes. we purchased another single-family home this week. All with creative finance. Yes, <laughs> all creative. Out of our physical bank account to acquire the properties, we paid $3,500. Oh, $3, and then I think around $500 to our attorney yeah. um, to draft all of the paperwork. Oh, which reminds me, we have to pay that invoice. <laughs> oh, we haven't paid them yet. Uh oh. Uh, pro tip pay your attorney <laughs> because he will sue you. <laughs> Luckily, we just did it. No, he's, week, so luckily we're we've, time, we've so. become friends over the years, so that's helpful. Oh, we got David Randolph coming in. Excellent. So yeah, you want right. to talk about um, the deal itself and then the creative financing part of it? Or yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, I hear someone talking. <laughs> David, welcome. Hey, well, hey guys. Hey, Hi. how are you today? I'm sorry, I'm just finishing up with somebody on the phone here. Hang on. Oh no, you're fine. Oh no problem. You take your time. We're just getting roll. We're just getting rolling here. So yeah, um, we are in Central Ohio. We're in Central Ohio. Ohio. If you didn't know, Annie and I are real estate investors and consultants, mentors, coaches. Uh, coaches. We do hard money lending and private money lending, brokering. Um, we have about 40 rental properties and uh, we, we do vacation rental homes, um, fix and flips, and, and some wholesaling. Uh, and as you know, uh, hey guys, hang on. I'm going to have to jump off for a second. I'll, I'll okay. Be back, okay. All right, David. We'll see you soon. So, um, yeah, we um, we acquired these properties um, just by calling people that we know. Okay. <laughs> All of those leads were referrals, people we know. Uh, people that know we're in the business. And so that's tip number one today. Tell everyone you're in the business. Of buying real estate. Even if you're just starting, tell them you're in the business, right? If you're in a coaching group, you can say my group, my affiliated group has purchased X amount of homes. Then you can kind of piggyback off of uh, what, your, what your coaches and your coaching group has done. But if not, just tell them, hey, I'm, I'm in real estate investing. I'm looking for my next deal. They don't have to know it's your first deal, right? Or your second. Or, or your second. But um, yeah, so these were referrals pretty much. One was someone that tried to sell and there was a foundation issue and they couldn't sell it. And so they took it off the market. That's pro tip for you. Look for expired listings or withdrawn listings. There could be an issue with the house and that might be a deal that you can pick up owner finance or subject to or some kind of creative financing. So just so we know, subject to means you uh, took over ownership of the property and it's subject to your current, uh, them their current mortgage or mortgages. They may have more than one. Uh, they may just have one. And so you're taking that over and you want to make sure, what do you want to make sure of Annie? If you're taking over a loan, 
know that they're current on their payments. Yeah, <laughs> current on payments. Ask us how we know that. We took took over one and a couple months later got a foreclosure notice because we didn't do our due diligence. Shame on us. So that was a, a about a $5,000 mistake, okay? So we just gave you a $5,000 tip, <laughs> right? So uh, yes, make sure that they're current on the payments, make sure that there's no outstanding water bills, although that may yep. be different in the state of Ohio, if the water bill goes with the property, so. Uh, hey, so we got Yolanda on here now. Hi. Hi, Yolanda. So yeah, uh, if you want to talk, Jay, about the creative financing part, because some people yeah. don't know what that is either, so. Yeah, Yolanda, we're from Columbus, Ohio Market. Where are you from? Atlanta. Oh, heck yeah. I love Atlanta. It's an awesome city. We're just talking today about some deals that we got this week, and uh, they were all through creative financing. And so uh, just to recap, we had about 3,500 involved in down payment money and a little over 500 to our attorney to draft all of the, the legal documents for us. And so we picked up a eight unit apartment complex and uh, two single family homes this week. So pretty excited. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, it was a good week. So we, that's why we're in the car. We just left with one of our contractors going over the apartments because they're a wreck. Um, that's why we got a good deal <laughs> with, yeah. creative, with creative financing, right? Wow. Uh, they, they need roofs. There's eight units. Three of them are, va are vacant. One's full of mold. Um, there's four actual buildings two units in each building and two out of the four roofs are leaking so it is a train wreck <laughs> wow. well i'm a newbie newbie just getting started you're a newbie oh awesome okay that's that's fantastic hey everybody was a newbie once yeah so don't let that don't let that stop you. So on these, um, Yolanda, um, one of the single family homes, that landlord hadn't collected rent for two and a half years, just letting wow. this person live there free. <laughs> because he felt bad for her? Because he felt, he felt bad. He was too busy or a combination of both. But yeah, two and a half years and she's paid one time. No. So we, we really like to market to landlords, Yolanda, because not all landlords are created equal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and many of, many of them don't, they just don't know how to screen tenants. They don't know how to manage properties. Too big of a heart in this instance. And this individual owner was pretty wealthy. So he just looked at it as a tax write-off for him. It was full, so he didn't have to worry about utilities for it or yeah. finding somebody else to live there. Yeah, so just so you know, our strategy is we, we took it over and uh, we'll give them a cash payment, but not until uh, by the end of October. So uh, he wanted 30 grand down and we negotiated down to 1,000 down. Wow. <laughs> okay okay you like that yeah with, with the understanding that we are going to do the improvements and the repairs and yeah mm -hmm. manage the fine tenant we'll get rid of that, that tenant or we actually contacted her today we're going to give her the option uh and we kind of spun it like this it's either your greatest day or your worst day today <laughs> Mm -hmm. It could be your greatest day because you owe over twenty thousand dollars in rent payments, and if you're willing to pay nine ninety five a month for rent moving forward, starting April one, we will wipe away, erase all twenty thousand dollars that you owe. 
with your pack rent. We won't mm -hmm. take you to eviction court. And we won't evict you. Um, it could be the worst day because if you don't agree, then we're giving you a 30 day notice and you have to leave. So, uh, and we're able to do that because she's on a month to month lease right now. Mm -hmm. There's a moratorium on evictions for non-payment of rent, but most landlords don't know that you can still evict for all the other reasons. Like they move- Any other violation. Yeah, any other violation of the lease you can still evict for. So okay. if you're month if you're month to month, you can just tell them I'm just not renewing your lease next month and you have to move. Mm -hmm. So right now our strategy is anyone that we move in uh, is going to be a on a month to month lease until we know this moratorium has has moved on. Okay. Okay. So a couple little pro tips for you if you're mm -hmm. considering uh, becoming a landlord. And I am. <laughs> okay, awesome. So yeah, he just didn't want to deal with it. He's a busy professional and we offered the easy button, right? We'll take it over. We'll evict the tenant. We'll do, we'll make the mortgage payment. So you don't have any other expense moving forward, but we're not going to give you the other 29,000 until either a, we got the property performing with the current tenant or B we get her out, do some upgrades and repairs, and then we'll do a lease option on the property. We'll lease option it to a tenant buyer. Okay. Okay. We do that because like I said, if the rent's a thousand or nine ninety five roughly, uh, normally you, here in Ohio anyway, you just collect a one month's worth of deposit. Well, that mm -hmm. only gives you $2,000. Well, if we do a lease option purchase, we'll require $3,500 for the option to buy. That's an option fee. Okay. It's non refundable. Non refundable. So if they don't buy it, they don't get that money back. And that is the down payment that they would need for an FHA loan. Or, uh, three and a half percent down. So when they execute the purchase contract on the lease option purchase, they've already paid their three percent down. Yep. And we'll get credited on the closing documents for that. Can, and can you hear Annie okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, perfectly. Okay, good. I just wanted to check and make sure. Uh, so, yeah. So you of, only you buy and purchase. Um, in Ohio, where you are? Um, no, we buy in Florida as well. Oh, that's where I'm from. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's where we've had um, we have one in South Carolina, some too. regular rentals there. And we've also had some vacation rental homes. Okay. We have a rental in South Carolina. And we have one in South Carolina. But that was just yeah. kind of a fluke. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> It makes sense. We weren't, sense. we weren't marketing there, but we got a referral and the deal was too good to pass up. <laughs> yeah, right, right. So we absolutely. Um, so we made some quick friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah. To have them check out the property. And yeah, you can absolutely uh, do this remotely. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so. Um, the other one was a single family. Like I said, uh, the foundation problem, Annie and I own a construction company, so we can fix that foundation, no problem. And um, we're already marketing it. We have what we started marketing it yesterday. We bought it Monday, marketed it yesterday, and we have three or four appointments four set appointments up scheduled for, tomorrow. for tomorrow already. And it's typical on a lease option like that. You might get 10 to 20 applicants and you just pick, pick the best one. Right. Now, some landlords don't like to do those because they don't want to sell their house. Uh, me and Annie don't care. Mm -hmm. We would love to help a homeowner buy a home. So if, if they're able to get qualified, awesome. Good for them. We'll sell them the house. 
we'll cash out and we'll go find another one. So, so that's that's what we plan to do with that one. And uh, the apartments, we're gonna do some roof replacement, some roof repairs. We'll spray all the apartments white so everything matches. And uh, it'll be easy to, to retouch up later if needed or when, not if needed, but when needed. Right. So a lot of times we're doing that. And then in rentals, um, we will tear out all the carpeting and we'll put waterproof polyvinyl flooring into so how long have you guys been doing this? polyvinyl yeah well what, is that luxury vinyl tile luxury vinyl plank or is that something different no it's luxury vinyl plank okay okay i did i heard yep. the poly poly yeah i'm using the scientific name sorry it's I'm waterproof. A I'm a chemical engineer, and that's why I was perked up, you know, oh. polyvinyl chloride, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll pull that out. We we do all solid surface floor in our rentals. Um, we try to because it's just easier with yeah. pets, and we allow pets, so. And renters are rough on flooring in general, even when they don't mean to be. If they're yeah. there for any length of time, it just happens. And we tell everyone they can have pets we just charge them more they're gonna have the pet anyway they're just gonna <laughs> lie to you <laughs> so we just avoid the lying and say if you want a pet great you can pay a 500 hundred dollar refundable deposit or we'll charge you 50 dollars a month extra for rent and you don't get any of that back all of them have selected the fifty dollars a month, except for one. Yeah, one person. Said. Except one person. So that's pretty good. But Yolanda, you were asking how long we've been doing this, and we started in two thousand and one. So this is our twenty-year anniversary. Oh, wonderful! Yes, and we have done everything from owned a mortgage company. To, I have a real estate brokerage team and we own a construction company. Um, and like I said, we have our coaching consulting group and we do a lot of uh, uh, flips with our students. Some of them do rentals, but uh, the majority of them like to do flips. And so we just walk them through that process and do the first few with them. Then they're on their own. So that's yeah. our that's our that's our week in real estate. Yes, sir. And uh, I want to apologize for missing the beginning. I was, I thought that in ten minutes I could take care of this, but I was uh, uh, upping and doubling my internet speed uh, with oh. the uh, Spectrum, you know, charter cable company, and it was dragging on longer and longer. And I'm like, look, just change the speed, send me the bill, and, and do it. You know, uh, they've got they've got an upgrade here. We can double the speed. Um, wow on internet for 20 bucks uh, wow that's fantastic yeah yeah and so i would kind of got tied up with that but yeah i just wanted to say you know hi my name's david randolph i'm one of the uh, super group leaders on short sale profits um you know with rei usa uh and so yeah. uh, uh, stacy was saying you ought to pop in on some of the you know uh rea groups you know some of the well i don't know i'm a super group in short sales you're a group or I don't know what you call a, a local group, I guess, for Ohio. Uh, and so I uh, used to live in Ohio. Uh, so I yeah. thought, well, that sounds like a great one for me to pop in on. I uh, used to live up near Cleveland, Ohio, um, actually a little bit out east uh, near Wycliffe and Concord, Ohio, Mentor, you know, Ohio, out in that, that region yeah. there for, for a while. But I'm back in St. Louis now uh, and doing short sales. And so I'm the you know, the uh, matter of fact, uh, tonight is my short sale uh, profits uh, super group uh, REI USA presentation. So, you know, anybody on this call can gets in free to all of our all of our, uh, you know, webinars and stuff. Uh, That's right. Uh, and I know David's been doing short sales for at least seven or eight years. We sat in the boot camp together at uh, Sean McCloskey's. 
and uh yeah it was good to see you at the leadership boardroom yeah. um uh, speaker training in december i saw you briefly there yeah yeah it's uh, uh um it's probably when were you at sean's event what year um i think that was eight seven eight years ago okay so, yeah I, was, I started it in 2010 but then i went okay. to several boot camp you know i you know through the years i went to to the different boot camps and everything yeah uh, with it and yeah i think the one i saw you at was it was probably about eight eight years ago or so yeah yeah it was, yeah. It was sean i think it was sean's last one he did well yeah Pretty. he was they're crossing it over handing it over to jason and rachel basically Somewhere, sure somewhere in that sure. time frame and then they used to have me come in and speak for their group when after they took over uh because they're yeah. like wow man you know you haven't done as many deals but you're making 50 to one hundred fifty thousand dollars profit on each one <laughs> there you go yeah there so, you go yolanda you want to learn some short sales you want to talk to david yeah he's got that down pat yeah now what city are, are you guys in in there in ohio um, we're in the uh, Columbus, Ohio market. Okay. So Central Ohio. Um, yeah. So you yeah. probably know John Heyer. Yeah, John is our um, one of our attorneys. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And uh, helps us with taxes and planning, and we've uh, actually sold a number of a couple of his houses and, and rehab them for him as well. Wow, I so didn't know that. Um, you know, he was my accountant until I fired him nicely. Okay. Okay. You know, it's back. Yeah. Then. He got too busy about six years ago and uh, for sure and got a little too close for me. So we parted ways. Um, yeah. Yeah. He's my accountant for a long time. I was just with him this past weekend in Atlanta. He was doing his okay. entities conference and I was with him uh, in February when he did his uh, SDRIA this uh, self-directed IRA conference uh, in Atlanta uh, and stuff. And uh, so it's really, really kind of interesting, the stuff he's coming out with in light of the current you know, administration and the current environment. Uh, yeah. And everything. Um, yeah, he's got some great, great information going out. And uh, um, I think there's a lot, lot more good stuff to come. So, yep, definitely. So Yolanda's new, David. She's she's uh, new to real estate. And Yolanda, do you have any uh, any uh, questions that we can help you with too? Um, not I do, but I, I can't uh, speak at the moment. I have you off and on. <laughs> okay. I'm running two meetings. <laughs> yeah, no worries. No worries. So yeah, our uh, I just wanted to talk about the terms of our deals we did this week. Uh, the one is worth about oh ninety five thousand, and we picked it up for seventy two five. Uh, he wanted five thousand down. Um, owner owner finance free and clear, so uh, no interest loan, um, and I pay him three fifty a month for three years and then i have to pay the balloon so i at least got a, a no interest loan uh for the first 36 months so i like that yeah that's great uh, What's the, what do you think the monthly rent will be for for the for the unit um i will rent that unit for 7.95 a month and so uh, basically 800 and then uh, the taxes and insurance are low on that one. Uh, it's about seventy-five a month, so I'll make about three seventy-five a month cash flow on on that one. On that one that's, property. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Um, so the benefit, the power of owner finance, you guys. That's where the power is. So to give you an idea. Um, three hundred and fifty dollars a month times thirty six months. I will pay down twelve thousand six hundred dollars on that house in three years. Okay, now if I went to my bank, shame on those bankers. 
if I went to them, they'd want 20% down. But let's just say they did give me 100% financing, which doesn't exist uh, unless you're getting like a USDA loan uh, or a veteran's loan, a VA loan. But 72500 in my bank would probably give me four and a quarter interest rate. And if I did a 30 year term, the, the payment's the same, it's 350 a month. But guess how much goes to principal reduction each month? Uh, the first year, it's about $100 per month. That's it. So if I got a traditional bank loan, I would pay only $3,600 in principal reduction in the first three years. And because we did owner finance, we will pay over $12,000 in the first three years. Then I can go get a bank loan. <laughs> and the other advantage to that is because of the way I did it, I don't have to put 20% down and I will own it now. And so at any point in the future, we can just treat it as a refinance and I don't have to put 20% down because as I already mentioned, the property value is about 95 and I picked it up for 72. So I already have over 20% equity from day one in the house. And those are the kind of deals that I love to do. So that was deal number one. Deal number two I did this week, another single family home. And that one was uh, valued at about uh, 110 updated, I'd say as is value, probably um, 85. And I picked it up for 62,000. So day one, I've got 33,000 in equity and he wanted $30,000 down and I negotiated $1,000 down. And then $29,000 by the end of October. Why would I do that? Well, number one, that gets me in for only a thousand right now. And I become the owner. And then moving forward, I can treat it as a refinance. And so I don't need 20% down. I like to keep my money where I want it, not where the bank wants it. And so um, I will be able to either get the current tenant back on track and paying or get her evicted and then put a lease option tenant buyer in there I'll have to spend a little bit to spruce it up, I'm sure. I usually spend around two or $3,000 to spruce up a house to get it ready for lease option. And then I will sell it for one ten, and I will collect about 4,000 down and I will rent it for $1,000 a month. And my monthly payment is um, uh, 650. And so I will make about, $350 a month on that house and I put a thousand down um, and I'll make the payments so it might take me a couple months to get her out so figure um, I might have to make two two payments of $1,300 total uh, so I'm about 2,500 in but as soon as I get it filled I'll get um, 4,000 down from the tenant and then the first month's rent a thousand. So I'll, I'll have 25 in and I'll extract 5,000 out within 60 days. And so uh, that's another creative strategy deal. Now I own it, I have a good paying tenant. Now I can go to my bank in September, October and do a refi or uh, get one of my friends to do a private money loan if, if they wanna do a, a, a little bit longer term loan and uh, make a de decent uh, uh, decent interest rate back. Um, so that's a possibility as well. So that was that deal. Any questions on that one? Yeah, how many more can you do? As many as I can. <laughs> <laughs> as many as I can. That's, I did something similar with the apartment complex. Um, this guy bought it a year and a half, two years ago for um, three fifty-five, dollars and he put $75,000 down, traditional bank loan, uh, had four units full then. He got them filled, but 
as soon as he got them filled, he let them go to crap and tenants quit paying and roofs started leaking and now they're a mess and three are vacant and one has his rent in escrow because water's coming in as ceiling. And so on that one, um, we agreed to $35,000 down. Basically it's half of his down payment. So we'll be, we'll, we're buying into that one. We bought in as a 50% owner. And so we'll, we'll do 35,000 down is our repairs. We'll do that in new roofs, uh, new drywall, flooring, trim, you know, it'll be in the form of, uh, uh, money put back into the property that's absolutely needed to get it re-rented and so um that one's a little different you know we'll probably will have the full thirty-five thousand in it within 90 days and um but fully occupied that unit kicks off uh net this is net thirty six hundred dollars a month net so the way I look at it is I, I put 35,000 in and I will get back uh, a little over 20,000 in the first year. And so that is about a 75% return on investment uh, on an annual, uh, if you wanna look at it from an annual basis. So, uh, and then once I get it fully occupied, um, I estimate the value of the property will be um, right around 550,000. The rents are, it's under rented right now. So 550,000 and then, um, uh, hold on one second. Please. Hi. So, um, yeah, so that one will be worth about 550,000 and our loan amount is 250. So what we'll probably do once we get it full is we will refinance that probably around 400,000. So we'll pull out uh, 150,000 cash. The owner will get his down payment back. Uh, we'll get our money back that we put in each of us put uh he put 75 we put 35 we'll all get our money back and we'll still have you know a, a good um 80 to 100 thousand dollars to go and buy another apartment building and we should be able to do that within 12 months of it being fully occupied depending on the bank and how conservative they are some of them want oh my gosh i got an award hold on we're live we're live. I'm a licensed agent too. I just got an award. I was going to say it has nothing to do with this me. Is, this is here. my office manager, Krista. I got the, wait, I got to read it backwards. Award winning realtor, realtor lives go. here. See, yes. The awards tomorrow. Tomorrow, you, I'll let you get. Oh, yes. The awards <laughs> are tomorrow. I, I will. I'll today. watch from my car. I'll be driving tomorrow. That's so cool. On Zoom. Cool. That is so cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. <laughs> it's good to see you. We're just talking That's about so real funny. estate deals. Well, yeah. see, you're doing something right. Yeah, we can put it in my my construction house here. <laughs> We're rehabbing everything right now on our awesome. first floor. So awesome. Well, I won't keep you from your live call. <laughs> Oh, we're just having fun, right? So, well, that's awesome. Thank you. Where else you got to drive today? Uh, I'm heading up to Sunbury and Delaware now. Okay. And then back to Grandview. Well, cool. Yeah. Good to see you. You too. <laughs> Say hi. Hello. <laughs> He's got lots to teach you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so crazy. So yeah, guys, that's that's the apartment deal. You know, quite a bit more money to come in that one i didn't put any money down but oh okay <laughs> we're doing all the media right now <laughs> um so 
yeah, so I didn't put any down. I just had to pay my attorney to draft the trust. Um, I put I put these rentals in trusts, land trust. And so it's a little bit different strategy, but it makes it easy to navigate paperwork and um, to sell beneficial interest or to uh, uh, sell a property and, and you, you just sell the trust and they want. So uh, that's a whole different call, but wanted to see if you guys had any questions on, uh, on what we discussed. Any comments, questions? No, not at this time. One day when, when I become an adult, I'm going to be just like you and your wife. And by the way, I love your profile picture. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> That's awesome. We appreciate it. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. Congratulations. That's really exciting. Glad to see that you uh, do land trust. I do. Uh, I actually have developed a technique to do short sales in land trust, too. Oh, cool. So I can wholesale it. I can wholesale it the same day. I, I can get around the ninety-day deed restriction. Oh, nice! That's a that's a very powerful tip, you guys. That's worth that tip's worth thousands of dollars. So make yeah. sure you get on David's call and get a little info on that. Yeah, it's every every month uh, on Wednesday, this, uh, the third Wednesday, I guess, of the month. It's actually tonight at eight o'clock uh, eight o'clock Eastern time with it and stuff okay. but yeah, i'm really, really glad to hear that you're using land trust because that's just a smart way i even i do my rehabs in a land trust even though i'm only going to have them for a couple months i still do the oh. rehab in a land trust uh, okay you know just a yeah. smart, smart idea so i'm glad to see you're you're using them too yeah thank you i learned that from my friend jeff watson oh yeah he's a good good friend of mine uh, yeah i was just with him this yeah. weekend also he was he was in Atlanta oh. uh, and everything. I, okay. I've uh, I've I bought his uh, hint program a long time ago. H I N T. Yes, me too. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Yeah, we've been on a lot of the same path, David. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds great. Yeah. Want to be successful? You gotta hang out with successful people. You smart. I wasn't even know what thought they were riding together. I'm gonna and I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah, have to I, jump I, off I here in a minute. I was I was uh supposed to be on something else at 3 30 but i wanted to hear hear everything you had to say that was pretty good stuff you deals you got i can't wait to hear what you got the next time yeah yeah no problem david thanks for jumping on and yolanda nice to meet you mark hopefully we get feedback from you sometime later which could have joined us a little on the audio but you guys have a blessed day and we're gonna call it a wrap and get ready okay. to head to florida for 10 days so all righty thank you so fantastic. much fantastic yeah thank you okay bye. yeah you guys have a blessed day don't okay, forget about too. david's call tonight i yeah. will bye-bye all right bye guys bye